All right. Uh, so what we have here is a replay of the 1105 Void Thrashing run I did with the Harker a few days ago. Uh, 1105 being the current the current rock, uh, record by about a minute. And uh, this run, I feel, is something special because it's the culmination of um, the work that I've done planning out an early game route, as well as the uh, strategy that Monk originally used for his uh, old record of 1203. Uh, which is what this run superseded. And um, the combination of his uh, his late game strategy with my early game strategy has created a true beast of a run, which I hope to uh, explain um, and you know raise some awareness for the capabilities of this ridiculous, ridiculous commander. So as you can see, the build we're using is the 21 gas, 21 max build, uh, which which is which is the build that we use to get our cooldowns ASAP. And uh, as soon as Dehaka spawns, what we want to do is the first thing we want to do is get level four. Um, level four, no, level two, uh, and to do that, we need to we need to kill eight supply worth of units, which is two zealots and one stalker, which is the exact number of units that we're going to pull in the first area now. And while we're working on that, we're going to just quickly pan back and take our second gas. So with that, um, with that done, the Haga is now level two. He's got one point in W, as you can see down here, and this allows us to do this, which is to drag everything from the first area over to the second area and kill it using the set the psionic enemies placed in the second area, rather than having to work through them slowly with our auto attacks. So Archon devoured for the damage reflect, as you can see, the stalkers and the zealots killing themselves using the uh, using the thorns effect, and we're going to just repeat that process over here, dealing incredible AOE damage and uh, using low HP devours to reset our HP and sustain ourselves through damage that we're really not supposed to be taking at this stage in the game. So one, two, and three, and we're back up to full HP. Really, really important technique to master if you want to get any uh, serious runs done with the Haka. You can keep him alive through the most ridiculous punch when, when, uh, when his HP is still, you know, when his HP pool is still quite low at just 700. Now, as you can see, we've got the pattern, the pattern A wave spawn, which is where the uh, enemies appear from the right side of the map at three minutes ten, uh, which is which is interesting because this this is a bit of an impromptu affair. I originally planned this run using the pattern B spawn uh, to get this to get the wave to appear from the left of the map, so that I could kill the, so that I could kill the attack wave using the pre-placed high templar in left blade, uh, in left base. This was actually the first time I've tried this run using this uh, using this wave setup, and uh, things actually worked out quite well, as you can see. So now we're going to now that we've finished up over there, we're going to push the mid base, we're going to pull everything onto the low ground, staining ourselves and grouping up all of these four archons, these insanely damaging, insanely tanky archons, and we're going to just chew through them like they are nothing, using psionic explosions from the surrounding units. Which, get, which conveniently gives us the level 6 that we need to push this left mini base using the same technique, devouring the High Templar dealing damage using, using those eating the low HP Zealots for the almost no cooldown Devourer, as you can see they're resetting our HP back up to full And just working our way through that for the uh, for the XP that we're going to need for the next section. So we're just going to kill all of these while our impalers, our ludicrously efficient impalers, work their way through the thrasher in the middle. And there we go, the level seven, which is what we need for the second point in W, and that's going to become relevant later on. But for now, we're going to come back to the middle. We're going to summon Glevig right at the ramp. And this is going to allow us to kill a lot of the strong units at the entrance of this base, which uh, gives us a room to form a staging area for later on in the game, which uh, you'll see when, when, when we come to revisit this place. So we're going to just pull all the units in the middle, the carriers, the Colossus, and the Immortal on the right, and we're going to just use Flame Breath to kill all of them. The 500 damage Flame Breath in a huge area before we tunnel Glevig over to here using his global mobility to intercept this attack wave kill all of this in no time at all, and uh, position at this ramp to do the same thing over at the right base. And now this one's a bit tricky, we're going to have to pause to really take stock. So jumping in, what? let's look at the base, what do we see? We see a hybrid dominator, 
with the Plasma Blast ability, which is already being channeled on the Haka. And that deals 260 damage, which is, which is an insane amount, coupled with all the DPS from the surrounding units here that will easily kill Hero Unit. But the level 2 of Intimidating Roar, which we just got with a level 7, that neutralizes uh, enemy spell costs of those affected. So this allows us to essentially do this. Glebig with a flame breath aimed down the middle, Dahaka jumping in right in the middle, activating the roar, eating the Dark Templar for terrible, terrible damage, eating the other Dark Templar for more of the same, and the low cooldown devour, and then coming in to clean up by eating the hybrid and killing the last of the and killing the last of the enemy resistance over here. While we bring in our impalers to clean up to clean up the thrashes. All of those enemies just gone in the blink of an eye. Using the same technique that we used that we've been using all the way throughout this game, which is just to, to minimize the cooldowns of our devour, to maximize the uh, the damage that we can get by eating low HP psionic units before finishing everything off. Uh, Using uh, using the massive cleanup potential of impalers over here. Now these are 40 DPS each to armor, at the cheap price of 200 100. By far the most efficient DPS unit in the entire game. Now that we're done over there, we have the uh, freedom with the uh, pattern A spawn to come back over here. Now normally there would be a wave spawning on the right, but with pattern A that doesn't happen. So we get to walk over here using the space that we brought earlier by cleaning up everything using Glevy to walk in all the way to the back summon summoning Merva in the middle of all of this to help us take down to, to give us the space to take down this uh, this hybrid dominator over here and just eat and just eat that and just uh, and just eat that with like almost no cooldown incurred and we're gonna do the same thing over here killing all of the capital units on the right side which gives us space to come over here and eat the, eat the Psionics over there to kill all the capital units on the left side completely cracking open the space in the space of about a minute in under a minute we've just killed everything over here using nothing but our hero unit and one of our cooldowns which sets up you know, sets us up nicely as usual to set up our impalers in the middle and uh, use their completely nutty damage potential to just clean up all the Void Thrashers which they're doing an admirable job over, over here while Primal Worms draw aggro. Which uh, just leaves us with the ugly business of taking down the left base, which at this point, it being the first base that you're supposed to tackle, is essentially just, it's, it's just completely trivial. We're just going to walk in here, we're just going to walk in here, not really caring about anything. And just and just uh, do do more of the same. Look at this, everything everything dying in one hit. Void rays dying in one hit. Hybrid dying like it's nothing, and impalers bringing up the rear, a 10 minute 40 mark. And we're gonna just kill, we're gonna, we're gonna just kill everything over here. Look how quickly those things are going down to those impalers. Look how quickly those things are going down. And we're gonna kill the last Thrasher at 11 minutes, giving us the score screen at 11:05. Anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for sticking around for that one. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, hopefully, a few more people now will understand the ridiculous potential of uh, Dehaka once you actually push the hero unit to its limits. Goodbye.